What's it like been working at the Microsoft 2.0, so to speak, and the, the rebirth phase? <laughs> it's been much, much different than what I expected it was going to be like. Um, when I was working in an open source startup and I heard that we were going to be acquired by Microsoft and I, I got to tell you, I was one of the most vocal opponents to it when I first heard about it. I just could not believe that Microsoft was going to inquire, acquire a company that was founded in open source that worked in the open source domain. And I just couldn't see how there was going to be a cultural fit. I couldn't see how there was going to be a technical fit. But as we went through the due diligence process, I got to meet people at Microsoft. And it was just a very, very different environment than I expected it to be. Um, probably because we were working with the Azure group, which I think is probably a bit different than, say, the Windows or the Office groups. But, you know, there, everything was focused around what do developers do, what do developers need, and where do developers work, like, in, you know, in what technologies and what platforms. And there, it didn't really matter if you're a Windows or Linux or Mac or, you know, whatever the developers needed was really what people cared about. And, and that was a real eye-opener eye for me. And then also seeing just the technical expertise that was within the groups uh, that we were working with at Microsoft. And, and, you know, just I learned a lot just from being around those people. And uh, it really helped me become a better developer as well.